create a loose watercolor project today. It is really easy and I hope you will enjoy the coloring process. Hello and welcome to Creative Coloring with Era. Today's card is really pretty. It has a soft looking background and really easy to color florals. And I have also opted to heat emboss the images to make this easier to color. So let's get on with it. For my project today, I am using the Build a Garden Nature's Magic Stem Set. It is so lovely. You can see the pretty images in the set. Uh, these are so dainty. You can create really pretty feminine cards with this. For my project today, I will stamp these in embossing ink onto A2 watercolor cardstock and cover them with pure white embossing powder and then heat set. If you want a much softer outline, you can even go with uh, crystal clear embossing powder, which I also love to use, but avoid on videos because it is hard to see. Next, I will cover the image with water. I'm using one of uh, the round brushes from the artist's paint brushes by Altenew. This, I believe, is the number two size. You can uh, use any brush that you are comfortable with. I really don't pay much attention to this unless I really have to add some detailing on my petals. Then I go for the really fine ones. But since this image is, uh, it has like smaller flowers, I picked up the number two brush. You can also pick up the fine uh, detailed uh, brushes, the fine ones. Um, those would also work fine with this. For the flowers, I'm using a mix of Tea Party and a Red Cosmos. These colors look great together. They are a bit similar, so there isn't a lot of difference, but still you can see a subtle difference, a little bit of variation where I add more of one shade. If you want to show a little texture, you can choose to add less pigment and create highlights, like pick up your pigment with the help of a paintbrush or add a little bit more water and just to use your tissue to pick up a bit of pigment. If you want to show more depth, then you can come back in and add more saturated pigment. For the greens, I picked out the mossy green colors. Again, this is completely up to you. Switch up the colors if you want to. Once dry, I use the coordinating dye to dye cut the images and then I set them aside. I took an A2 watercolor cardstock and then I added a very light color wash of the same green that I used for the leaves to add on the background. But here, I won't be adding green to the entire background. Instead, I'm just going to be adding this to the area where my florals are going to be. So this is going to be a little bit on the top where uh, my floral sprig is going to come from the top uh, towards the bottom. And then a bit of uh, uh, color wash at the bottom towards the top. And it's going to be a little bit uh, in an ombre style. So it just fades out once it um, goes to the center. Once I'm happy with the look, I will add splatters of the same green paint. It, these, this is going to be super light, so it's, it's not even going to be visible uh, everywhere, but it's just going to be very subtle. I will then dry the panel. And then I will add very fine black paint splatters. Again, not a lot of it. This is not the typical background, the typical kind of background that I usually create. I wanted a very soft looking background and my florals to just pop. So that's exactly what I went for. Then I will use uh, the instant dimension foam tape to adhere my florals. And then to finish, I stamped the sentiment and also added satin gold sequins. And that's it. My card is ready. It was super easy to create. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you like the card, please leave a comment. And uh, well, that's it. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. Bye.
Hello there, did that video just spark your creativity? And do you want more project ideas and inspiration videos too? Well, if you do, please make sure that you subscribe to the Alt New YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.